I think that many artists are highly sensitive people. That's actually a psychological term. Um, it means that we pick up on many nuances and things that other people miss. Uh, it also means that we can sometimes be more deeply affected by things and internalize them, a kind of super empathy. For example, when I heard about the Newtown tragedy, I felt like I took a literal blow to my body. Even hours later, I was in the supermarket and I was in a kind of stupor. It was so hard not to cry and it seemed completely absurd to me that no one else was talking about it. That everyone seemed to be carrying on like nothing had happened. I wasn't right for weeks after I heard about the shooting. One of my friends, my artist friends, describes it as being too porous. Um, it sometimes feels as though you, you have no skin on your body to protect you. So the way it works for me is that I will read about something that is tremendously upsetting to me and I won't be able to get it out of my head sometimes for weeks. I'll feel this urgent need to do something about it. Um, so it's actually as if I am absorbing this tragedy, taking it into my own body, trying to process it, and then I will need to get the pain out of my body and into an object. My work is often obsessively made and I often think about each stitch as being a prayer or a healing sutra or an incantation, a meditation. Uh, each stitch for me is a conscious transfer and transformation of energy. So I'm healed as I make it, and if the work is successful, people will look at it, recognize that emotion, and feel a tiny bit less alone in this world. They will consciously or subconsciously feel the investment of time that went into this piece as embodying, for lack of a better word, love. Louise Bourgeois once said, artists tell the truth about things that grown-ups don't want to talk about. Certainly all of my work attempts to tell some sort of truth that people don't want to talk about. To me, the most successful work punches you in the gut. I will invest absurd amounts of time into the creation of a tiny work so that the pounds per square inch makes you gasp. Or I might make a piece that might be considered shocking in its bluntness. But to me, it's all about making a piece that is as powerful as the catalyst that motivated the creation while also trying to transform and transcend that catalyst. So sometimes I create a work of art that's shocking or that makes people angry and people say, oh, you just made that work to be controversial. And the fact is that, no, I want my work to have the same impact, the same slap across the face or splash of cold water that I experienced when I first read that article, numb with disbelief. People are sometimes shocked by works of art, and I think people should be shocked by the events that inspired artists to make these things. 
it's like shooting the messenger. Why not get angry at the laws that exist allowing these horrible things to happen?